So we're gonna go into the World Showplace now. Um, and it is in between Canada, that way, and England, right there. It's hard to miss if you don't know what you're looking for. It's easy to miss, yeah. All right, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should stop with the drinks. <laughs> it is easy to miss, so. A lot of times these are closed off, these doors here, so you don't even know there's anything back here. Uh, but they've opened it up, and we'll see what it's like inside. There's, uh, I believe, multiple booths. I'm excited. Different there's things. one thing in particular I've been really wanting to try, uh -huh. and it's this like nitro cake pop that I yeah. keep hearing is really good, and I'm all about it. Let's all go about get it. it. Let's go get it. There's chandeliers. It's a cute little merchandise area that we are definitely going to check out. And look at this, you guys. Look how cute this place is. It's huge. There's four different booths here. I think we're gonna try and get something, one at, one at each. That's the goal. Should we check out? Let's check out the merch first. Let's work our way through. Pigment shoulder brush. I mean, it's amazing. Oh, I love it. That is so cute. I kind of feel like we need this, right? <laughs> I feel like we need it. An ornament. It's cute. Oh, I love it. I love a tumbler. Oh, I love this color. That like wine color. Perfect, right? Mm -hmm. <gasps> What's that? That is uh, like an olive. Olive, olive to thing. cook. Pass holder exclusive. Remy, pass holder exclusive. Yep. Isn't it cute? <clears throat> so it says it's a wonderful time for a beer. Uh huh. It's got the Epcot. Yeah. Boom. Oh. Can opener. Can yeah, opener. Not can opener. Bottle opener. Bottle opener. Bottle opener. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. What's that one? This is a barrel. Oh, I like that one too. Oh, I love the wine glass. 25 years of cheers. Cute. These are good. For those of you that don't know, these are good to walk around. Well, you can't really walk around and eat, but they hold your drink and then you can put your food on there. It gives you a nice hard thing to be able to eat off of. Oh, this is kind of a good cut. Like, we'd like to bring these kind of bottles full of water to the park every time we come. This would be a nice one. Don't have to worry about spilling in your bag. Keeps it nice and cold. I'm all about that. Look at the cute gift cards. They're awesome. They are awesome. Oh, wait, what about the wine? That we just got in. You think that's better than a gift card? <laughs> Well, we just got it two days ago. Do you, but do you have so, something I can put around my wrist and carry it around? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Well, the gift cards, of course. But that is my favorite. Yeah, I was going to say, we just got these in. <laughs> that is my favorite. Like, I won't lie. Ago. I mean, I wish, but that's Look, my favorite. You, you could. <laughs> right sure. here. Did you get a pass sure. holder discount? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sadly. Wait, wait. I, I don't know if there's the viewers uh -oh. there, but there you go. Good. You Lord. could do the 263. Yeah. If I got that pass holder discount, I might be all about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you hungry? Very, very hungry. Should we go eat? Let's go get our food on. That was fun. There was a lot of stuff that I want. Yeah, super cute stuff. Lots of stuff. Oh my gosh. Time to eat. Oh, I'm excited. What should we eat? What should we drink? They've got festival favorites, desserts, <laughs> champagne. Apple seed orchard, mac and cheese. Did you just read it off to me? I did, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just as I went so through the signs. I know that I want something from the dessert <laughs> Okay, so I want the one with the twix. Alright. Let's go. Okay, do you want a frozen s'more? Oh, it's non-alcoholic. Forget it. Chaos. Chaos. <laughs> oh, like I yeah. Eminem? 
got the M&M one. Quit? That's me. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. Here it is. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm gonna eat you. All right, here we go. Nitro, nitro cake pop. <laughs> with Twix original. It was pretty cool watching them make it. Yeah. Okay, we have not had this yet. So no, no, no. I don't know how messy this is going to be. And I That's why I went and got napkins. <laughs> good, good thing. I'm Jump in it, jump in it. Oh, him or her. Mmm, mmm. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Let me mm. hit. Me have some? Mm hmm. Mmm. Mm. You know. I thought it would be like hard on hard. the outside, yeah. like a Mickey bar, mm -hmm. but it's not. So I really took a huge bite thinking yeah. that was going to be, and, that was and it really, crack. yeah, it didn't crack. And but it's, it's not, really good. It's like, it's a soft, moist brownie, actually. Yeah, yeah, super moist. I thought it was going to be hard and ice creamy. Like I was like, I thought it was going to be like a Mickey bar too. Mm -hmm. That's good. I will say, I don't taste the Twix at all. Mm -hmm. Do you? I mean, it's the same amount of money. It's not like I pay extra for them. You can get regular Twix or M&Ms. I mean, this might have been better just because of the crunch that comes with it. Yeah. But I don't taste anything. Yeah. And you would think that this would give crunch too. It doesn't. I don't taste it. Soft on the bottom. It's just kind of a little bit more chewy at the top. It still tastes really good. It's really good. Just not quite the uh, experience I was expecting. This is actually better than what I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. I can't believe I waited this long to have it. I just didn't think I'd like it. We're fools. Yeah. No. Sit down with my chair. Mm. Okay, so so far, that might be my favorite thing I've had. Like, out of the food and wine festival, like, completely. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least sweet wise. It's hard to compare that to, like, a steak. You know right. I mean? <laughs> but, like, dessert wise. Yes, but dessert wise, sure. that's. I think that's the best one I've had so far. So far. Day's not over. Okay, let's check out another booth. Huh? Gourmet Mac. Buffalo Mac. It's interesting awesome. that the Gourmet Mac is cheaper than just the regular Mac. Because it doesn't have a protein. Oh. They don't have protein. Makes sense. What do you think? I know you're not going to want the lobster. It's fine. Are you thinking just the this one? Italian sausage and peppers. I've had buffalo mac before. I've had regular. Yeah. Let's try the. Let's try the one I have. Okay. I get it. <laughs> okay. If it's really loud in here, apologies. There's an amazing piano player playing, so we'll try to talk Speak loud. Up. Okay. So we ended up getting mac and cheese with Italian sausage and peppers. Fun fact. This is the vegan option. Oh. I did not know that. So he said that. I said, Italian sausage and peppers? He's like, yeah. And I looked and there's little leaves right by the thing, which means that you're vegan. Well, look at us. So this okay. is us. So we so, got the vegan option. Yeah. Um, let's go. I've heard very mixed reviews on the macaroni uh -huh. booth. Uh, and I am a macaroni snob. We do enjoy mac and cheese. It's my favorite food. So let's... Uh, G.A. that. I, I didn't. I'm going for the noodle first. Man, I really want to like this because it's a vegan option. The sausage actually isn't bad. No. That doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. I'll tell you what it does taste like. Not mac and cheese? No. It tastes like, like a hamburger helper. I wish it tasted like hamburger helper. There's like no cheese. Yeah. No, no sauce. I think this one I might have been sitting out for a while. It's very dry. Yeah. Um, I literally taste no cheese, no sauce. My noodle is chewy, like rubbery. Yeah. Oh. If somebody had given this to me and said, hey, it's sausage and peppers. The only reason I would think it's vegan is because it looks like 
crumble. It doesn't look like a sausage cut up. Other than that, that actual sausage yeah, doesn't taste good. The that. flavor mm -hmm. definitely reminds me of sausage and peppers. It does. Like, I wish I'd rather just have a bowl of this and like throw some marinara so, sauce yeah. on it. <laughs> it's like meatballs. Yeah, because this needs sauce. It's very dry. Yeah. The, and let me tell you, the panko crumbs don't help no. an already dry dish. Yeah. Sucks up all the moisture. Um, this is disappointing. I really like mac and cheese, and I had heard that this booth was not fantastic. Mm -hmm. But because I'm such a mac and cheese person, I was like, oh, let me try it by myself. Mm, I love mac and cheese, even if it sucks. Because no. you know, especially with food, you can have different tastes than other people. Yeah. Like some people might think something's spicy, and you think it's not. And, you know, they were right. <laughs> Everybody's right. I would skip the mac and cheese booth. Which Go back for another one of those nitro pops. Heartbreaking to say that, but this is just, I'm not even going to waste my time eating no, it. No, I've got no, other things I'd rather eat. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> All right. It, it's going to be our traditional or our great beef. Okay. It's the most, you're probably going to be the most used to this flavor. Okay. It's thicker, richer, darker. There's lots of nutrients in it. Wow. I could have a spoonful of that. <laughs> Just a bowl of that and I'd be happy. Oh, wow. I'm also putting some of that on your ice cream. Girl stuff. <laughs> Blossom Sky. Mm -hmm. mm, let me tell you what's in it. Okay, it's got Fanta Apple Ginger Beer, Floodwell Apple Brandy, Burton's Maple Farm Apple Jack Brandy, and uh, a, nope. Brandy Barrel Aged Syrup. That's right. <laughs> and mini marshmallows. Mini marshmallows. So, so the syrup is sprinkled on the top, and then inside is ginger beer and brandy. So ginger beer, brandy, some syrup, and marshmallows. Apple flavored. I mean, come on. Let's go. Let's Ready? Let's do this. <laughs> Is that like a mmm that's strong or like yeah, mm, that's, that's tasty? Good. It's frozen too. I don't know. Yes, yeah, frozen. I tried to take a video. I don't know if you could tell it. They like went like out of a machine. Yeah. So it's it is pre -made. a frozen drink, pre-made. But it's definitely got brandy in it. It's good though. It's got I a mean, strong it brandy is, paper, it's not, it's, but it's really, really good. It's Holy really cow. good. It is. Oh my strong. gosh, on like a really warm day, give me two uh, or three of these. You mean every day in Florida? Mm -hmm. But like a cold day. Yeah. You mean not a warm day? Pick up one of those marshmallows and put it in my mouth. Okay. This is where our marriage. Is. Mm. It's got the I mean, brandy like, so syrup on it. Get the syrup. My Super brandy. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. Because here's the thing, it's got, it's the frozen, but brandy has that heat to yeah. it, right? That immediately oh, kicks in. Good call. It's like a combo. So it's like. It's the hot and cold. It's the hot. It's a song of ice and fire. Hot and cold. Um, don't sue me. I don't have the rights to that. Rights to what? <laughs> that wasn't the song. It's a common saying. Hot and mm -hmm. cold. It's a common saying. Hot and cold. Um, that's what I like about this drink is it's mm. good for those hot days because it's a frozen, but it's also good for like a cold you know, more I could brisk definitely, fall drink. I could definitely sit by a fire mm. and have a cup of this. I'm personally not a frozen drink person. No. I don't. It makes my tummy slushy. Yeah. So I would prefer this drink on the rocks. True. Me. Agreed. But this is what we this got. Good. This is real tasty. It's really good. Recommended. So I don't know if you saw it. It came highly recommended by the, um, the syrup people, which yeah. was super awesome to come in and get the flight of syrup. Yeah. I gotta be honest, I've never been a person that ever thought about syrup. Um, I go to a, the local grocery store and I get whatever that local grocery store's brand is. Mm -hmm. Which is basically just corn syrup and some maple flavor. And I'm like, here you go, put it on your pancakes, your waffles, your whatever. Mm -hmm. Like I've always thought of it as just a breakfast thing. And of course we've all had, you know, maple bacon and stuff like, mm -hmm. but I've never really had syrups side by side yeah. to taste test. And holy moly, I feel like I can't go back to getting my runny, watered down crap. Yeah. 
Uh, that, that was so yummy and thick and strong flavors. It's really good. And like, I can taste it in the string and they didn't put that much on, but it really adds. Yeah, it's a really nice touch. It's really nice It's touch. really good. So, so far, we're, we're, I think we're gonna try and hit all of them. Yeah. Aren't we? There's four booths in here. We've had three things. We gotta go, we gotta go the whole festival way. Festival favorites. Let's go find a festival, festival favorite. Festival favorite. Let's do it. Okay. What are we gonna get? I don't know the Spanish milkshake. Oh, Guinness Bailey's milkshake is. I don't know. Should we go up and see? Okay, we are gonna get the. How do you say it? Spana copita. Spana copita. Spana copita. Yes. We're gonna get that. You want anything else? No, that's it. No. E425. Yeah. I mean, Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. We've got a festival favorite. We finally made it. The festival favorite. We were going back and forth, back and forth, and we went with the Spana copita. It's Greek. It's Greek, and I love Greek food. I don't know if you can see it. It's like it's flaky, not, flaky crust. It's not very big, but that's typical for food and wine. And it was only four twenty-five. So. It was only four twenty-five, and there's two of them. Um, but again, it's going to be more of a snack size, and that's super typical for most of the booths. If you get something bigger than like Dixie cup size, it's a it's a win. It's a win. Yeah. Um, okay, so there was really no information. I don't know what's in this. What's in this? It looks like a baklava type thing. It does. It looks very flaky, puff mm -hmm. pastry. Oh, it's very greasy in the bottom. Very greasy. Can you see that? It's like dripping yeah, in grease. Dripping grease. <laughs> or oil. I, uh, I don't know. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's oh, like that's... a, it's like a spinach cheese mm -hmm. inside a flaky crust. That's really good. Yeah. Like freshly made. I think it, these were sitting on, I think it would be a little less greasy, but these yeah. are definitely sitting around for a little while. So definitely the, the cheese is like. But made it it's really good. Greasy, if we had like a really dip, good. oh my god! Ooh, if there I mean, was some kind of dip. It's a to good this. like Super Bowl. It is mm -hmm. actually because it kind of has that spinach, like spinach dip feel to mm -hmm. it, like yeah. in a puff pastry. So if you had some kind of like artichoke thing to dip it in, mm -hmm. yummy. Very good. Oh, it good. Tasty. Thumbs up. Mm. It's a good amount too for like to split between two people. Mm -hmm. This one bite I think would really do it for you. I don't know if you can get in there. Thumbs okay, up so so one. far, let's just recap. Okay, let's go through the, let's go through the booths one at a time. Mm -hmm. Let's go just in the order. Okay, so the first booth that we did was the desserts. Thumbs up, big time thumbs up. Like one of the best desserts I've had. Mm -hmm. If you have children, <laughs> way up, way up. Second booth, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Thumbs up. I can strongly say. Do not eat it there. Skip it. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. It's going to disappoint you. I'm, I'm not even afraid to say that. It's just out there. Yeah. I'm not even going to hold anything back. It was disgusting. Next, And apple. it had nothing to do with it being vegan, by the way. Yeah, no, the no, vegan no. The part, vegan part was, was actually good. good. It was the Those mac and cheese part. Bad. Let's call it mac and vegan because there was no cheese. The meat, I could just eat those meat, that yeah. impossible meat all day long. Yeah, really good. Or I guess I don't know if it was brand impossible, but you get it. Mm-hmm. Third stop. Apple orchard. Oh. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This was eleven dollars. Mm -hmm. So it was definitely like double the price of most of the drinks there. But you get a cute You get a full little, drink and you get to take a little, a little it's little a little cup. plastic uh, mule type drink. Mm, cute little cup and it, it it it's good. I mean I've had a lot of the other drinks there because that, that booth has been around for a while. Mm -hmm. And their ciders are really good, but um this is a unique drink. Yeah. It's really tasty. Okay, fourth one. Festival favorites. Oh, good. But we had yeah, it was good. Season. Yeah, I enjoyed it. There's I, lots of different options. I'd say it's in the middle of the row for me. Yeah. If I had to order them, it would go desserts, drink, drink spa, spana, 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 capitita, spana, spana, spana capitita, spana capitita. Fall favorites. And then that mac and cheese. There's I don't only, even want it on the well, list. Just three. Just three. It's like out not of even five. like mm, four. It's, it's, it's last. Even. Just don't, I don't even want to. I want to pretend like it doesn't exist. Exactly. Sweet. Well, what was fun here? There's cute merchandise here. It's a super great ambiance. Piano player. Mm -hmm. So there's like entertainment. There's you can get a flight of syrups for free. Like this is a great little yeah. like spot. I really like it. I like it. And it's air conditioned. It's air conditioned. It's a great, great place. This is a don't miss. 
Thank you guys for checking out our video. Hope this helps. Mm -hmm. Make sure you subscribe, you. turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our other videos. This has been a fun day. Yay. Fun date night. Date night. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Bye. Bye. Bye.